Brandon Sackbun took oath to become the 43rd mayor of the city of Terre Haute. The city court judge, city clerk, and city council were also sworn in. Jen Thompson has the story. To Terre Haute, let's hit the ground running on day one. Together, we will write the next chapter of our city's story. A chapter defined by progress, unity, and a share of success. Together. That was the common theme Thursday evening as city leaders were sworn into office ahead of their official January 1st start date. Hundreds were in attendance. So it's a lot of people. Uh, I'm very energetic, so it's definitely feeding the energy. But Candace Hinton, city councilwoman-elect, said she's excited to serve. I'm just feeling all the feels. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm ready to serve. I'm ready to help, to do what I can. Um, the, the history is good or the history is good, but I'm, re I'm really ready. Sackbun said the historic night was a huge win for the community. We're already working very hard to look at how we can optimize municipal government, work with the county, the school corporation, the state, federal government, just to bring more opportunities to Terradice. We're going to all pull together. We're going to move as one as much as we can. We move in unity to grow our community, to grow Terre Haute, to make everybody rise. You know, as the, as the water Waters rise, everybody rises, and so we're ready to, for the waters to rise. I love my hometown. I love Terradice, and we've got a good vision. Let's take four years to execute that vision. Both Sackbun and Hinton are eager to hit the ground running come January 1st. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Jen Thompson. Now, in preparation for the Terre Haute City inauguration, local leaders spoke about how Terre Haute is making history with the swearing-in of Mayor-elect uh, Brandon Sackbun and City Councilwoman Candace Hinton. In the past, city inaugurations have taken place in the Vigo County Courthouse, but leaders said after this historic election, they expected a large crowd, which provided a great opportunity to utilize the Terre Haute Convention Center. Vigo County Democratic Committee Chairman Joe Etling and local historian Crystal Reynolds reflected on the significance of today's event. It was as diverse a ticket as that the city of Terre Haute's ever seen, and I think the uh, representation of the city council will also reflect that, so it's an exciting time for our city. We are set in a standard. We're like, look, we're a diverse country, and look, our, our, poli our politicians are also diverse, and I think that's significant. Now, once again, Mayor Sackbun and the city leaders who were sworn in today will take office on January 1st. 